Okay, y'all, so boom. I just came back from the beauty supply store. It's currently 6.10. And let me show y'all what I got. So I saw the girls doing this on TikTok. Adding this hair to the wig. This is the wig. It's human hair or whatever. It's 22 inches. I want to get it a little longer. So this is 30 inches. Boom. Boom. And I just forgot. I got to get some content. I got to get content for TikTok too. So my room is so messy, y'all. I'm going to try to be productive, but I just had so much to do today. So boom, boom. I got two packs for that. And then I got, I'm going to try the the spritz thing that i saw on tiktok too when you land your lace but for some reason whenever i i stick to one style for a long time and then it, i decide to try a new style i just be like i don't know if i want to try it i want to stick to what i know and i hate that i just tell myself girl try it you've been i had long hair before but it's just been a long time since i've had a wig and since i've had like long hair longer than this so do y'all ever feel like that let me know in the comments do y'all know what i'm talking about like for some reason i'm just like no i should stick to i should stick to braids i shouldn't even wear my wig i should i should stick to the length that it is blah blah, blah. but i want to do this so whatever sometimes i be having a i be having a fight with myself but Okay, so the next clip probably going to be like slow motion, fast motion of me um, gluing this. I mean, not gluing because I'm going to sew it in. I'm not a glue girl. I like to sew tracks in even when I do the extended ponytail. I sew the tracks on. Um, speaking of extended ponytail, I have a video on that. If you would like to see, it will be right up there. Boom. And um, so, yeah, I'm going to get some content for TikTok and then... We'll get started. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. This is part four of the wig tutorial. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing y'all how to add length or thickness to your wig. And boom, we're gonna start off with some beauty supply tracks. I got this from my local beauty supply. It was like $14, I think. And we're just gonna sew it in. That is it, that is all. But I do have a few tips. You want to make sure, we're going to sew it in like a regular sew-in, but we're going to sew it in between, in between the tracks that's already there. But when I started off, y'all, I was doubling these tracks because I thought it was going to be too thin. So I don't think it's a good idea to double them because that's going to make it tangle much more versus if you put like just a single track on there, you got a little bit more control because it's gonna be one synthetic track in between a human hair track instead of two synthetic tracks in between a human hair track and also you want to make sure that you don't make it too full because it was given wig when i first started putting these tracks in i was going literally row by row i was doing two tracks and i was going row by row so i was stacking the tracks row by row and that was too thick to my liking. I'm glad I did check my progress in the middle. Like I was halfway. But you want to make sure you check your progress. And I would say you can do every every other track. You can add a track. Or you can do every three tracks. Or you can even just add them in where you feel the need to. But you don't want to jump up too far. If you start in between the first two human hair tracks and then boom, you put a synthetic track right there. You don't want to hop up to, you don't want to hop up eight tracks up. You can go like four tracks up and put a synthetic track there because then the length ratio, it'll be off a little bit. Because that's what I tried to do. I tried to hurry up and finish and hop up. Once I got to the middle, I'm like, all right, I'm, I want to be done with this. And it was still a lot of tracks going up towards the top uh, and i tried to hop up all the way to the top to finish 
but I had a chunk of tracks that I hadn't hit, but I was consistently hitting all the tracks at the bottom. So you don't want to do that. But yeah, you're just going to start in like a regular sewing. And this is me checking my progress, seeing how thick it is. This is where I think I noticed that it was getting a little messed up or probably up here is when I noticed. But yeah, it does tangle up um, because it is very much synthetic. It's cheap synthetic, not the good synthetic. Like, um, And yeah, you just got to know how to work with it. Um, it did shed a little bit, but this is basically how you add length and freaking thickness to your track. So, I hope y'all enjoyed this um, tutorial. All the other tutorials are linked in the description box. Go check them out. I know you'll enjoy them. And my other um, social medias are linked in the description box just in case you want to go check them out. Which, go check out my TikTok because if y'all like my content on here, y'all will love my TikTok as well. So, yeah. Until next time. Mwah. Bye. Let's rock.